What's up, y'all? It's JoJo Games, and welcome back to our gaming adventure. We are picking up right where we left off with our Nobody Wants to Die adventure. This game is sick, so let's jump in and let's get it going. Hey, Chief. Did you hear they served scotch with lead at Icarus? I didn't hear anything, especially not from you, because you weren't fucking there. I got some evidence. Ties to green. Fuck solid. First you sent me that bullshit report, and now you got evidence. You listen to me right now. You weren't there. Understand? And we're not talking now either. In fact, I haven't spoken to you since the accident. Got it? Chief. Nope. That's it. I'm pulling you off this case. Steiner out. Where the hell are we? Just smoking our cig like a true policio, a true old school Bastard. detective. Why do you have to throw me off the case? He got cold feet. Somebody bribed him. It's my fault. He was just trying to do me a favor. So I had to go and fuck it up. Now he's left trying to sweep it under the rug. Except, nobody makes rugs big enough for this. No wonder he's mad. What, I, what angle am I looking at right now? Like, down? No doubt about it. This case smells worse than a two-week-old corpse in a oh. storm drain. This looks so like weird. Victims. Who's really behind it all? Whoa, what the hell? Name, but I can already tell what this is so weird. They go, is. like, vertical and horizontal. That's so trippy, brother. A pseudo-revolutionary, a depraved, rich asshole... A self-proclaimed judge. Some fucking philosophy major dropout. Screaming about remaking society. Without even realizing he's just covering up his own pathetic insecurities. Well, damn. Look at that nice drag. I try to stop thinking about it. Try to back away. Shut it down. For one simple reason. I can't expose Sarah. The trail's gone cold. Orders are orders. Uh, the trail hasn't gone cold. Orders are orders. I don't want her to get in trouble, though. Much as I like the idea of throwing myself into the city's abyss, if I do that, I'll drag other people down with me. And Sarah doesn't deserve that. This city has a disease. Something festering. It looks like somewhere it. Deep underneath the routine of concrete God, and the concept behind this game i know i keep saying it's so crazy the grin of the neon lights and infection has set in it's oh. like like everybody started having the same nightmares night after night i know or, the dream am i laying on the ground the looking up into the sky i think that's what i'm doing sweat, yeah hard weird crack open scream locked in my throat Something's chasing me. I need to stop talking because I missed that entire monologue. <laughs> when I'm falling, something's chasing me. It's like somebody's chained a fucking boulder to me and shoved me off a cliff. That's aggressive. I gotta be laying down looking up. I feel tormented. I need help. Oh shit! Aha. Streets. God damn. This has been one supremely shitty day. Lucky for me, I got just the thing to help get through it. Oh, we're laying on a car. Examine? What is this? Another starless night. No surprise there. Wait, where's the stop? So much air pollution. Every night starless. Oof. That's Old what the future is gonna be. Man's a classic and true professional. He'll fix any machine you bring him. As long as you're not picky about where the parts come from. Mm. The opera. 
Take away the singing and the shit or break in the middle, and all you got left is your average daytime. This looks so crazy. There's people down there. I love the way this world looks. I don't know what it is about it, but I fucking love it. One of the most expensive restaurants in the city. And the tiniest fucking servings I've ever seen in my life. Usually how it goes. Pitiful. Anything else out here? Aha. Oh, fucking disgusting. At night, they ventilate the ground floor plants. They say it's necessary. Necessary to dump even more pollution into the Jesus air. Christ. Fuckers. Alright, I'm gonna go with we hit everything. Whoa, god damn. Alright, let's go to the car. To the car. Oh my god, this is horrifying. I didn't take this bottle of Jack. Just you and me. I suppose I could have borrowed something from Icarus. Oh well. Too late now. Oh, okay, that's the not one. Take moonshine. Put away, I don't want that. Moonshine, brother. Uh what's this one? Acid rain. Citizens, ambient pollution density is increasing by 0.6% each year. This translates into a need of, for more frequent decontamination as well as general decrease in bodily endurance. Reduce your exhaust emissions in, in the name of common good. Oof. Scary-ass world. Dang, our windshield shatter too, bro. Oh, for fuck's sake. Check engine again. Just had it in the shop last week. The sets hide later. Bro, oh, not good. Edward Green dead? Oh, he's fucked up. Fucking rich. I feel his breath on that. Take some off now. a case. What is this card? All this risk for a fucking piece of plastic. Can't even tell what it's for. It looks like a key card. What am I supposed to do? Acid. The Icarus disaster has shaken the city. Now new facts have come to light, which will bring you live in just a moment in an exclusive no special drift. report. I wonder how Sarah is dealing with it. Um. What am I supposed to do here? Shit, Sherlock. They've been trumpeting it all over the media for an hour. Wait till they find out politicians have tried to lower the age of free body subscriptions again. People are gonna lose it. They'll get over it. Maybe they'll finally get around to doing something about it. Hopefully. I mean, I know we can't get involved, but someone needs to tell them enough is enough. 
Do you know that I barely saved up for my first subscription? All the money was spent on living. If I had to pay a year earlier, I, I probably wouldn't be here. That's insane. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Thousands of people in the same boat every year. Not everyone makes it. And these fucks want to take away what little chance they have. Sorry, don't give a shit about politics. Everyone has their own motive. Everyone has their own motive. Maybe the budget's collapsing or something. Pile of shit, not a budget. People's lives depend on these decisions. They're what decides if you end up in the freezer or not. Cool Oof. off. You're young. Oh, fuck off with that bullshit. I really can't understand it. I mean, they knew about the consequences. How can they just make decisions like that between drinks? Like human lives mean nothing. Are there any moral boundaries left? Oof. All right, that's enough of that. I did not take that. Boundaries still exist. Separation, the good from the bad. Maybe we cross every boundary if we live long enough. Everybody makes a bad choice sooner or later. One kind of leads to another and then another. Nobody stays on the straight and narrow forever. Bullshit. You don't believe that. Otherwise, the world is meaningless. Well, eternal life sounds beautiful, too. Until you realize you'll be busting ass for minimum wage until the end times, That's right? the true you seriously hell. think people are fundamentally evil? No, but there are too many temptations. All I know is there are too many temptations in our way. And if we live long enough, we trip on one. <laughs> this isn't just nihilism. It's doom gibberish but hey you're entitled to your opinion whatever it might be james can i ask you something personal sure go ahead do you believe in life after death oh the real one i thought i was the drunk one here well apparently in the past people used to ask stuff like that all the time because the average lifespan was less than a hundred that's and so now, crazy. Can we believe in anything beyond this? Okay. Wait a sec. I believe in technology. I believe in an afterlife. So did Rachel. Oh, I kind of want to go down that path. I don't believe. Oh, I don't know, man. I don't. The technology one's a weird one because I don't know what that would do. I guess in context, like, okay, if I was in this position as this person and you've lived for a hundred, over a hundred years and over hundreds of, oh, what does he say? 150 or something like that? 160 years. And the person you loved is gone. I would imagine everyone else in your life. Well, at least in his position, it doesn't seem like he has other people like around with him. So I think in his position, I would, I think death would be, he would want, I feel like this character would want death. Maybe I'd meet Rachel in a better world. It's a beautiful vision. I hope it's true. Damn it. Bloody hell. James? James, what's going on? Take medicine. I right, drink, take the medicine, I guess. Oh, those pills didn't even come out. Oh, shit, dude. The charms of an E class shell. I got it from a junkie. Still having synchro issues? Yeah, whole list. Yes, whole list of shitty side effects. Those damn shivers. You know what's funny? Shakes in the toilet. Well, that might be where the last guy I like to shoot up. Oh, that hell no. That's then crazy. You have the same. When the, the body same. certain signals, it's trained to react, expecting the drugs. Okay, got it. You were the one who took notes at school. Huh. Do you take care of regular synchro tests? Are you taking ambrosia? 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. An exemplary citizen. It's important that you do it. Thanks for caring. This is my fourth body. We can handle it. That's crazy that every the side effects of the previous owner of your body affects your body. Like that's insane because it's just the mind that they're putting in the body, not, and so you have all the negative aspects of the previous body. That's fucked. What are the weirdest synchro issues you've heard of? Do you think people can swap bodies indefinitely? I want to know that one. Do you think people can swap bodies indefinitely? Well, the longest living guy turns three hundred and. That's insane. He's doing great. The city is co-funding his birthday. Go ask him. Seriously, it's all about the money. The more we have, the longer we live. That's a dark, dark future, bro. The capitalist wet dream. I think consciousness has an expiration date. Ooh, I like that. I think consciousness has an expiration date. Sooner or later, our psyche gives out. I don't know. If someone had offered me 269 more years, that would be plenty for me. Well, as for your issues, how did the last Icarite transfer go? Why do you ask? Well, did it go smoothly, or did you feel something along the way? Tell the truth. I'm gonna say, tell the truth. Apparently, we're unaware during the transfer, but yeah, I remember the burning and itching oh. my body. I thought I was going crazy. Oh, yeah, because you're... My partner said something was weighing him down. He also knew a guy who felt like he was falling off of a cliff every time he changed bodies. Ooh. That's probably nothing unusual. Uh-oh. Extra job, you know how it is. Can't you see? I'm drinking because I have a rotten job. Shit. James, there's a bolo from the car from Icarus. Hey, check that out. How'd your vehicle get those marks? I picked it up at the workshop like this. Icarus dropped shot half of my neighborhood. Icarus dropped suit over half the neighborhood when it burned. Got my car too. No point talking about it. Car runs fine. It's just filthy. Shit! Bolo for a '99 Bluebird. Hands in the air. Don't move. Tow the car right now. Oh shit! What the hell? Damn the fucker! Hey, do not move. Hands where we can see him. Bro, I'm a cop. The evidence from Icarus. Gonna take us both in. Okay, the truth. Okay, okay. Uh, I'll, I'll spill. Yes, I was on the Icarus, but they threw me off the case. Chief Steiner himself gave the. James, you stupid cunt. Will you just shut the fuck up? You're making it worse. We're placing you under arrest. Oh, shit. The right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Attention, all nearby units. Oh shit. Ah, fuck this guy. Let's go. Oh my god. What a bunch of douchebags. I'm a cop, bro. <laughs> what the hell? They suck at it. Almost got us. Did it work? Did they take the bait? The bait? 
Ha. You call in a fake burglary? Uh-huh. It was all I could think of. Not bad, thanks. Well, well. I'm impressed. Huh. Thanks for saving my ass. <sighs> One thing, though. Cunt? Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> I panicked. <laughs> okay, I like the relationship a lot. <sighs> We should probably get out of here, buddy. <sighs> okay, James. I'm no expert, but the universe seems to be telling you to go home. You believe in science? I believe it's 2 a.m. Huh. and I'm getting sick of you. Sorry, didn't look at my watch. Seriously? Shit, I owe you an apology. Didn't look at my watch. James, I know you have your demons. I've read your file, but... <laughs> got to learn to control them. Why do you think I drink so much? I used to control them. Used to control them. I understand. I know it's got to be difficult for you. But you know the saying? The sleep of reason produces monsters. Put the vodka away and rest. It will help. That rest doesn't work for me. Besides, it's a Pure. title. Not a saying. What? Sleep of reason produces monsters. It's the title of an old drawing. I saw the hologram. The guy falls asleep with his head on the desk. Boogie men and bats swirling around him. Interesting. Coming for him. Impro you can improve. Almost hear the flutter improve. of their wings. Uh, Goya, I think. Oh, suddenly, you know art. Ah, Rachel knew art. Rachel knew art. She liked this place too. Used to stop here sometimes when I picked her up from work. It's time to go back, James. Please take care of yourself. Oh, buddy. Struggles of a sad, sad, lonely man. Huh. Damn. Life's a bitch sometimes. Kicks you right in the face and just keeps kicking you when you're down. Oh, wow, that's a nice little beach. Rachel! Rachel! Rochelle. Richie, Richie, Rachel. Oh no. It's getting dark. I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh, you're going to turn into a monster or something. Oh, we're tripping balls. Oh shit. Oh shit. Fight your demons, James. Fight your demons. I don't got time. Push. Push. Heave. 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 Oh shit. I should go. That would suck. That would suck it. Waking Sarah for a drunken call was as healthy as my usual cigarette dinner. But I needed this conversation. And something told me she needed it too. Anyway, it was a nice contrast with all these conversations that leave me hung over even when I don't drink. Well, damn. All right, y'all, I think we're going to leave this episode of Nobody Wants to Die here. I know not much happened. It was a shorter one, and we just kind of sat and talked with our uh, girl, Sarah. But we got a little bit of more of an insight of our um, little detective buddy here, James, who's clearly struggling with a whole lot of problems. But this game is seriously super, super awesome. I'm having a ridiculous amount of fun with it. Um, it it's so cool. I want to know what is happening so bad all over the place. I just, it's so... I feel like this is going to be a really, really good video, a really good uh, series on the channel, and I'm really looking forward to keep playing it. So, if you guys want to see where this adventure takes me next, you'll have to come back for the next one. Once again, thank you all for watching, and remember, I love you, I appreciate you, and I respect you, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace!